is I... I got fired again. Always whining and crying. It's no wonder all you can afford is crappy jobs. Excuse me? I'm not your soldier. I have better conversations with my beer. Callum is not even your child. Did. There you are! Dear, can you help me with the rest of the groceries? Uh, just give me a minute. <sighs> Dear, I wasn't expecting that you'd be home. Did work let you out early? Uh, thing is, I... I got fired again. Honey, where are you going? Oh, I don't know, Nancy. I'm sorry, but your application has been rejected. I don't get it. The same thing that always happens. I used to lead troops and manage millions of dollars of equipment. Now look at me! Now I can't even keep a crappy job. You are trying your best, my love. Everything will be okay. That job sucked, but I'm sure that you will find the right job this time. Don't worry. What do you mean, don't worry? We barely make it as it is. Now, we won't make it. I hate this. This is all my fault. I know you're frustrated. It hasn't been easy since you got out. But I know you. Everything will be okay. I know it. I believe in you. You're... You're right. I... I know. I just don't feel like I fit in anywhere. Nothing's working out the way that I thought it would. I feel like a loser all the time. Stop talking like that. You will be fine. You have our whole life ahead of us. And we will live in luxury. <sighs> well, I just don't get it. After serving my country, all I seem to be qualified to do is minimum wage, crappy jobs. Won't look at me, and even you would doubt that I was in the United States Armed Forces. I know, babe. You will find something. You have never let the country down. Never! The only one you have let down is me. How can you be so selfish, always thinking about yourself? I'm... going to get the rest of the bags. Babe, chin up. Everything will be just fine. Always whining and crying. It's no wonder all you can afford is crappy jobs. Sorry, babe, but it looks like I don't see a future with you. I see a future with your best friend, though. My sweet Rory. Is that you, my champ? <laughs> How do you always know when I come home, Dad? You forget how I got these awards. I've got something to show you. Come in here for a minute, champ. So, what'd you have to show me, Dad? Young man, I thought I told you to take the trash out before you went to school. Ah, oh, shoot! I totally forgot about it, Dad. I was running late this morning. No big deal, because I can just do it now. Ah, <sighs> I already did it. And we both know that it is a big deal. I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. You're right. It won't. When I give you an order, it needs to be followed. Am I clear? Excuse me? I'm not your soldier. Also, this isn't the army, Dad. Watch your tone, young man. Don't you talk back to me. Remember who you're talking to! I... I remember I have homework to do. Don't you turn your back to me! Don't you ever disobey a direct order from me again! I'll have your butt on the ground next time. Actions like this are how soldiers wind up dead! Do you hear me, Private? Cass 
Caspian, no! No, stop! Leave him alone! He's your son! Leave him alone! Babe! Babe, snap out of it! This is your home! I... Calamar, are you okay? I'm so sorry, champ. I didn't realize... I... I'm really sorry, champ. I'm not gonna hurt you. I swear, I don't know what happened. I... I don't. Go! You need to leave now, Caspian. Sweetheart, are you okay? You know he didn't mean anything by it. Your dad loves you so much. He's just having a hard time coming. <sighs> Whatever, Mom. I'm fine. I'm going to Cassian's house. Just a little longer, Callum. We will never have to see Caspian again. He has no idea. Nancy, just get ready and talk to Callum. Callum is going to stay over Cassian's tonight. Uh, that's probably best. You know I would never hurt him. I don't know what happened. You pulled a chunk of hair out of his head. I know you didn't mean to, but you did hurt him. I just... don't know what happened. Isn't it getting worse? Your dreams at night especially. How much alcohol have you had anyway? I know what you're gonna say. You know, if you drink too much, it gets worse, right? <laughs> there we go. Just add it to the list of crap I already don't do right. Babe, that's not what I meant. Plus, you know I'm right. To hell! Nothing is right! Nothing! I don't know why you're still here. I wouldn't be if I was you. Just look at the hero you married. For God's sake, stop being so hard on yourself. Things will work out, but it's just going to take time. When was the last time you talked to the VA counselor? That might help. The VA, she says. What a joke. They never cared. I get an appointment every six months. A bloody joke. Once you're out, nobody gives a damn. Nobody. I give a damn. Callum gives a damn. You're not alone. And you have me, us, you have your family, you have your best friend Rory. Babe, we will always be there for you. You know what I do. All I do is let you guys down. This sucks! What's the point? What we have right now is the point. We're the point. Your family, we need you, but not for money. We need you for you. I can go get a job and everything will be fine. At least that will give me a chance to see Rory as well. Just great. That makes me feel so great. I'm the freak vet that can't support his family. Screws everything up. Wonderful. I feel so much better. Thank you for that, Nancy. Maybe you can start your own business like you wanted to. We'll talk tomorrow after you cool down, and we will come up with a plan. We will come up with something, you'll see. Babe? Babe! Did you hear me? Start my own business. Like that will ever happen. Just another failure in my life. You're not a failure. You need to calm down. You're all worked up. Just slow down. Take a deep breath. I can't get through to you when you're like this. I'm going to give you some space. If you need to talk, come and get me, no matter what time it is. Okay? Do you hear me? You're not alone. I love you. We all do. The nerve! How dare he push me away! I've had it with him. 
At least Rory understands me. I think it's time to end it between me and Caspian. How's your hero? Oh, shut up, Rory. What? You have to be grateful for one thing. Now without him, we can finally be together. As if there won't be problems after that. What problems? Just say your husband's gone crazy. That's the thing. He is crazy. He just needs another deployment to focus on. Meanwhile, I just want to focus on you. Really now? Why don't you say the magic word? Oh, my sweet Harrow. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. I love it when you call me your hero. <laughs> I'm not about to waste my life with a crazy man. Don't worry, babe. I'm gonna protect you. Let me know when your hero leaves, okay? He has been drinking again. He is going to pass out in the garage. I'm going to call Callum. I will see you tomorrow. Babe, be good, and I might just give you a surprise tomorrow. Is it going to happen? Are we finally going to tell Caspian the truth? I wonder how he will take it. The look on his face will be priceless. VA this, VA that. <laughs> what a joke. I have better conversations with my beer. Isn't that right, buddy? We're making good progress, Caspian. I am proud of you. Really? I don't feel like... Look at how far you've come. So, did you think about it? Yeah. And? <sighs> I just... I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. It's been three months since you came home, Caspian. You need a change of pace. A change of environment. I am sure Callum will be thrilled to hear about a vacation. Uh, I know, I know, it's just... I know you're nervous, but I also know that you're born to lead. I tried going back to my old job, right? I just couldn't do the work anymore. You know what the worst thing is? I can't explain it. Uh, I... I don't even know what I'm qualified for now, I mean, things around me are the same, people are the same, it's just, somehow, everything's different since I returned. I don't know, it's not like they give you a road map, you know? You said that right. Many people think that when a soldier returns from war, everything is dandy. The sound of guns, explosives and tanks. We signed up for death, and potentially the loss of a limb and a leg. These memories are as deep as the blood in our skin. There has not been a single day where I did not dream about going home since the moment my boots touched the ground. I always thought to myself that I'm ready to get out of this hellhole, and see my wife and kid. How old is your kid? Fourteen. That's rough. You got the look of a man that got deployed just before your kid was born, right? Ah, <sighs> that's right. Back in the day, none of us could imagine being a father. Now, here we are in the same room. Each of us who thought we could die at any moment is a father. Almost brings a tear to your eyes, doesn't it? Damn right, soldier. <laughs> I remember one time a soldier asked if I had to choose between marriage and war, what would I choose? I'd always choose war. We all need a reason to keep moving forward. Some of us join the army to marry the army and we... Marriage is a battleground unto itself. No married man ever knows what he's doing. If they say they do, they're lying. I sure don't know what I'm doing. I'm glad my wife tolerates me though. No truer words have ever been spoken. In truth, I always wanted to have a child of my own, but I've known nothing but the military. I wouldn't even know how to change a diaper even if my life depended on it. Plus, 
What kind of life could a child have with their father being deployed all the time? Aw, oh, come on. Marriage ain't all that bad. My last day home. Wife surprised me by coming into the bedroom wearing nothing but... Your knuckles. What happened to him? Sadly, it's not just dreams. It's the anxiety, depression, and anger outbursts as well. Well, it doesn't look like you'll need stitches, but at least put something on it, okay? Please, don't forget to take some time out for yourself. Relax a bit. Clear your head. I can't wait to tell Nancy what happened today. That's strange. The door isn't locked. Rory. Nancy! Babe! Are you... <gasps> you look like you're on the cusp of death. We have a kid. Nancy! Say Nancy. Wanna break the news? With pleasure, my hero. My sweet, sweet Caspi. Callum is not even your child. How would he belong to the man that didn't even show up when he was born? All this time, you were seeing Rory behind my back? It's a shame you couldn't man up. Of course, she would choose a man over a wimp. Oh, stop it, Rory. He will throw a fit again. Or what? Is Caspi going to finally man up? All you thought about was yourself, and how you're a failure. You never noticed me and Callum trying so hard for you. Do you expect me to believe you? After all this? You know, that's your problem, Caspian. All you see is red and black. All's fair in love and war, you loser. I didn't know my hero had a crush on me for so long. Now, get out of my house. Babe, tell Callum to come home early. He'll be so delighted to hear that you're finally leaving. Babe, huh? Oh, I'll show you. Finally, some peace and quiet. Don't you think we overdid it? Nonsense. I told you that if you follow my plans and everything will work out perfectly. Now, Caspian is going to come back, promise to be a better man, and everything will go back to be the way it was. He always told me how he wanted a daughter. Caspian wanted to be there for her first steps, her graduation, and to walk her down the aisle. And then I met you. Caspian didn't suspect a thing. Now, our sweet baby boy Callum is going to live the life of luxury. You're such a devil, aren't you? You leeched off of Caspian this whole time just to be with me. What can I say? I am... Did... Did Caspian just... I'm going to go look. I'm coming with you. What the hell is he up to now? If he's shooting the wall and crying, then that's not gonna help him at all! I'm sure that was just a bottle of beer. Can't be. No! This was all your idea! If you had just been a loyal wife to Caspian, then this wouldn't have happened. Me? It was you who was jealous of Caspian and wanted to get into my pants. Oh, oh, excuse me, miss. I'm lonely. You never thought your husband could make it back home. He is not coming back now, and it's all your fault! You killed my husband, and you're going to live with that scar for the rest of your life. 
over my dead body. All the hate, all the violence, death at every turn, it starts to weigh on you. Every time I close my eyes, I see their faces. The faces of the lives that we lost, the ones we took. I love my family, and I know they love me. It's just the pain. It's too much. I'm tired of hurting. Tired of the sleepless nights. Tired of hurting the ones I love. You're home now. My husband was a good man. He loved his family with everything he had. He served his country with honor. Caspian sacrificed his life for the country that he loved. He never really made it home to us. We lost him when he was first deployed, but didn't realize it until now. His family will always love him, and he will live in our hearts forever. He is always going to be there, looking out for us, protecting us, just as he always did. Caspian, I love you forever. Some scars run deeper than the surface of the skin. Every day, 22 veterans give their lives to suicide. Organizations like TAPS, Wounded Warrior, the VA, and others are willing to help. Together, we can help these veterans receive the help they need in order to not become just another statistic.